못한다면 그것은 강한 공격이 될수 있는 거거든요. 네. 네, 그런 어떤 이제 찌르기를 통해서 김태용이 예측하지 못한 이런 움직임을 좀 보여줘야지 뻔히 다 알고 있는데 네, 거기에 맞춰서 자신이 경기 운영을 해보겠다고 노력을 하다가 결국 네, 막히면서 두 번째, 그러니까 두 번째, 세 번째 경기를 연속해서 내줬습니다. 맞습니다. 김태희 선님은 네 번째 경기 어떻게 예상하십니까? 네, 무엇보다도 지금 연속해서 경기를 지고 있다는 건 분명히 지고 있는 선수에게 엄청난 부담감이죠. 하지만 조울찬 선수가 어, 말씀하신 것처럼 1경기처럼 어떤 자신감 있는 플레이도 중요하지만 그래도 여전히 김태희 선수에게 자신의 모든 것을 보여주면서까지 마두녕을 할 필요는 없다라는 생각이 듭니다. 네, 맞습니다. 1경기 같은 조일장 선수의 모습을 보여줘야 됩니다. 자, 네 번째 세트 김태경과 조일자 조일자가 김태경 경기에 시작하겠습니다. 우후! I think we're starting. I thought the game was gonna start, but the crowd, crowd shot. Play! Welcome back, everybody. It is time for game number four in the SSL 9 finals. Bisu versus Hero. All right. We are going on Circuit Breaker. The bottom right is the yellow Zerg. We will have Hero. He's in trouble. He's down one, two. It's not fair. But I believe. I believe, Hero. I believe. Alright, there. This is going to be top right. Um, and that means we have... Vertical spawns on Circuit Breaker, which is very interesting. The air distances between the natural is going to be super small. So, uh, um, Mass Corsairs is going to be the order of the day, obviously, but lots of potential for uh, nice, cool storm dropping. Even any, even some Reaver play again could be fun, could be good, could be good. Still so good Reavers on this map for quite a while, actually, at one point. Or not, not quite a while, but he did it for like several games in a row. <clears throat> anyway, we're just going to have the direct vertical scout here from B2. He's not going to try and move these fancy little trick of scouting the opposite middle ground. And we're just going to see an overpool. Wait! Is that an overpool or is that a nightpool? Wait a minute. That's an overpool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just, just want to check. Just want to be sure. Okay, so. Pieces Pro. Gonna get in here straight away. Gonna be able to scout. Or sorry. Uh, be really annoying. And poke for a very long time. And scout, I guess. And what happened to that damage drone? Where is it? I wish they would keep the damage drone clicked so I could see which one it was. Get it. Get it, Bisu. Get it. Get it. Get the drone. Get it. Where is it? There was a damaged one, right? I don't know where it went. Anyway. Hey! White people! <laughs> it's like all the white people in Korea have gathered in one place to view this amazing spectacle of PVZ. It's a good place to gather. It's legit. <laughs> Alright, so we got Forge, Nexus, Cannon, Standard, Good Jazz. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit careful with that wall, there's a gap over the gateway that'll allow for some Zergling Rumbies and that sort of thing. Presumably Bisu will take care of it. Now where is the third base of Hero gonna be? You can't really take a close zero on this map. Well you can, you can get the Miner only, but it seems kinda weird to me. He might just do that, the drone is actually going in that direction. Um, and I have seen that before, but I'm pretty sure every time I've seen them, they're only being taken, it's been like a hydro bust. <laughs> so here's gonna go for this. It's it's interesting because I don't know if you guys saw, but on the minimap, uh, the drone actually went outwards first as if it was going to the bottom left natural, so it got up to here. And then it went back down in to the mineral only. So I think Hero might have thought about going to the bottom left and either changed his mind or just like maybe his minerals were too high or something. So he just wanted to spend the minerals and just decided to just change the plan and get the closer mineral only. <clears throat> either way. So 
We have the Grubs will run around. Gore is going to see the lair. It's not going to be a uh, high over then first. Seems unlikely with the probe still there. And on the other hand, everything going as normal in BC's base. Like one Zerling is going to see nothing too interesting happening at the front. Going to come back and help chase down this probe. And hmm, so a lot of people were saying in chat actually during the break that you know Sergo Breaker, oh Bisu's played along this map. This is his map. I do remember when Bisu kind of first popped onto Sospa. I, I I do vaguely remember he was just playing a ton of games on this map and winning like all of them. Um, but it's going to be interesting because I mean you know. Compared to match point, compared to last game, there's a lot more bases on this map. So there's a lot more money to be uh, to be had, and I don't think it's quite it's nearly as easy to just split the map. It's it's you can obviously take like the five bases on your half of the map. So if Bisu were to expand horizontally across, he could take those five bases, uh, or all oh, five gas bases plus their own base. Um, but still, it's still quite a ways. It's, you're still quite spread out, and there's a lot of bases to take. So. Um, the game can definitely go longer, <clears throat> and we can see uh, a lot more late game play, which I think is quite exciting. Oh, that's not exciting now. Hey. And looks like BC Probe is finally going to get taken down here. In the meantime, I do see a fourth hatchery. Presumably a fifth hatchery will come up shortly. Happy third. And going straight for the Hydrodem, once again, skipping the Spire. So Hero really seem to loving this uh, style of just going straight Hydras to defend against the Corsairs instead of going for uh, going for Scourge. Which is interesting. I, I wonder... I mean, I think... Wow. Okay. Okay, looks like the buffering has fixed itself. Sorry, there's not much I can do there. I think that's uh, like the actual Freakus stream buffering for CA. Whoa! Hello, Corruption. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, what was the same? Oh yes, because Bisu's Corsair control is so good, maybe Kira is just like, I don't even want to try and make Scourge, because I know he'll just avoid them and kill them all anyway, so better to just use Hydras. I mean, I think Kira does this kind of thing more, any, in just a lot in general, but against someone like Bisu, who's going to be really on the ball with this Corsair control, it's probably a good idea. I mean, like if, like if you're playing Tyson or someone, just be like, yeah, I'll just make Scourge, I'll just call his Corsair, it'll be fine. But against Bisu, not so easy. So, so we've got three cannons going up for Bisu while he moves his zealots out. Um, <clears throat> that's going to help any kind of crazy backstab that Hero might try since all the zealots are away from home. And you can see the third base is a little bit exposed, it's a little bit vulnerable. Uh oh, come on, Hero. Come on, make some units. Okay, they have the Hydras. Okay, so we should be fine now. And yeah, the zealots should back off now. So we are good to go. I just notice the minimap looks kind of funny with that random line drawn by that overlord going to the bottom left. <laughs> anyway, well that's a cute little position to trap your probe. Huh. Basically just trapped it with one mineral patch there and the two pylons. I didn't know you could do that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's quite cute. In the meantime, Bisu massing up his Corsairs as expected. The Hydra's protecting the overlords. Uh, while Hero moves across to start putting some pressure on Bisu. Bisu actually trying to sneak some zealots around the side to maybe go for a counterattack or just a flank on this army. Uh, there are four cannons on a fifth cannon is morphing. This is a pretty decent wall and there are two zealots here as well but that is a lot of hydras coming out actually. It looks like Bisu could be a bit of trouble. He's not pulling his probes. The zealots coming from the back. Actually the Corsairs are going to kill all the overlords so if he just makes a DT now he will be okay and it looks like Bisu might hold this. Man that was looking really dangerous for a second, but I think Bisu actually got much better from that exchange. He didn't pull his probes, he only lost one cannon, uh, and he killed all of those overlords. I mean, sure he lost a bunch of zealots, but I think that was definitely a decent exchange for him. Man, he's even killed another overlord here. This is actually really uh, poor for, for Hero. Hero, though, is actually sending more Hydras. Hero might just be going for the win here. I think Hero is just going to go for the win. He's just losing too many overlords. I don't think he can just actually play this out. And he's got a decent opportunity. There's no Templar yet. There's one DT though. That's crucial. The DT is crucial. Oh man, and the Zealots even come out. The Zealots actually have speed as well. That's also very crucial in defense. Oh god, I think Hero's just going to fall apart with this failed Hydra attack. Oh god, the DT is there. There's nothing you can do. Oh my god, come on, Hero. What is this? No, no, the Overlords. 
The Overlords, why? Oh my god, I totally cursed heroes. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry, hero. But you did play this pretty poorly. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna be very difficult. He just made a whole bunch of drones. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! No! No drones! Please! Please no! Wow, that is some insane reaction time. How did he even see that? What? How did he not lose one drone there? I can't believe it. Oh my god, and Beast is not paying attention! Beast is not paying attention! He lost all but one Corsair! Oh, but he's going in with the Zealots! Oh shit! Be oh no! Kiro just made drones! He only made drones! He didn't make units! He needs more Hydras! Where are the Hydras? The Hydras are down in the third, right? Tell please tell me- Oh no, 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 no! Oh god! Oh no, oh no, now he's gonna lose drones! No, he pulls them all again! Mad Hero! Hero, the sickest defense! I can't believe it. Okay, he's lost some drones here at the natural as well. Man, look at it. He knows. He knew Bisu would send the DT back to the third as soon as he went for that attack. Wow, Hero. I can't believe he didn't die there. Not only did he not die, but he didn't even take significant damage. That was just impossible defense. I don't understand how he defended that so well. That was insane. <laughs> Looks like he got a miss rally there uh, of some drones. But now he's getting lurkers, so he should be okay. He should be completely fine against these elves. God, that was so good. I don't understand how he defended that so well. I saw that situation. I was like, well, 3 1, GD. Oh man, this DT though. This freaking DT needs to leave. Get out of here, DT. He's gonna get two. He's gonna get three. He's gonna suicide. Doesn't get a fourth. So I think that DT actually got like five or six drones over its lifetime, which is not that bad. But it could have got a lot more. <laughs> oh man, talk about some crazy emergency defense. And now he's coming out with lurkers too. And uh, Beast doesn't really have the right comp for this. He is going to try and use his speed loss to delay a little bit, which is correct. Um, but, you know, otherwise all his units are just kind of chilling in his natural. So, uh, Hero can start getting all this, uh, all this lurker contain. Oh, he's got to be careful though. Oh, the hydras are a little bit separated. Ah, please be careful. Oh, there's actually no opt yet. Okay, so that's fine then. Wow, these drones need to fix themselves. <laughs> okay. Well, there's some drones unnecessarily there. He actually lost four of those five drones. <clears throat> uh, and that, man, that third base just makes me so nervous because he has no sunken He's got no defenses there. So many delicious drones that Bisu could slide. And he's just somehow just keeping almost all of them alive. Such good reaction. Oh, that poor Hydra is stuck there. <laughs> but that's okay. He'll get out once that egg finishes. Once that uh, egg hatches. Anyway. Uh, Hero now coming back to defend against these elves. They are uh, presumably plus one speed bots. But Hydra's come back in time. Take care of that. I like this patrolling overlord here. Just spotting any shuttles that are incoming. Oh, there's a lurker drop in the main! And there's a lurker drop in the natural! The hero multi-drop! This is exactly the kind of stuff that Hero's known for. Oh, he's transferring to them! No, he's not! Oh, oh, the probes! He's still stopped! He storms it! He storms! Oh no! 23 kills! 23 kills on the one lurker! He got it! He so got it! And he's still gonna get more! Oh, sup, Isu! Sup! Oh man! What a sick double drop from Hero! Snapping that Protoss player's neck! Look at that! 9 kills there! 25 kills on the other one! He just ate Bisu's economy! And he's now going for a bust. I don't know if this is going to work though. There's a lot of cannons and there's two high Templars there. But the cannon ball is falling. The storm is a little bit late. Hero's going for this. He's going for the kill. This could be bad though. Oh man, he lost a lot of hydras there. I don't know if that was necessary. That was a questionable attack on the natural. But he has killed so many probes that I don't know if it even matters. Oh my god, Bisu. How's your eco, bro? How is it? Wow, this could go to game 5 after all. Hero. Hero's alive! He's alive after the failed Hydra bust! Oh god, oh, I hope those overlords aren't actually full of units. 
But seriously, after that failed Hydra Buzz, what a way to pull himself back in the game. He needed a crazy move like that to do it. Oh my god. Anyway, BC now going for a big counterattack, but there's a good number of lurkers here, and the composition is, is uh, pretty zealot heavy, so I don't really see this thing too much. I mean, okay, he's got like seven goons. He's actually rallying more goons down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, the counterattack! Oh my god, Hero suicided too many Hydras! No! Is the counterattack just gonna win? Oh my god, Hero might have suicided too many Hydras in that counterattack, but no, it looks like he's gonna reinforce enough, is it? It's gonna be very, very close. He's gotta be careful. He's fighting uphill, that's the problem, is that he's fighting up a ramp. Oh my god, that suicide move could have been the absolute worst thing to do after the beautiful drop here because he doesn't have enough Hydras left. Oh wait, wait, maybe he does? Maybe he does? Are there any storms left? There's a storm. Oh, baited out. Baited. No good. Doesn't kill Hydra. Hero, I think he's barely gonna survive. He might lose his hatchery though. There's not too much he can do about that. I don't think it matters because I don't, I don't know if he has the economy to pump from six hatches anyway. Oh, he's gonna save it. He might save it. BC's not gonna finish it. He's got 42 HP. Oh no. Oh no, but there's, there's another storm. And this is just ridiculously close right now. Hero is just pumping out every last unit he can to try and defend this. He's actually just morphed his Hydras into Lurkers here. If those finish, he could be okay, but that's going to be a long time where he has even fewer units to defend. He just needs them to finish, and then maybe he'll be okay. Oh my god, but Beast is pushing down. Beast is pushing down, but Beast has got no High Templars left. He's actually morphed uh, both the last High Templar into an Archon, so he's got two Archons there, but no Storms left, which could be crucial. I don't know what's up with that random Overlord. I really hope there's no uh, there's, there's not a hatchery still rallied up there. And oh man, the Lurkers finished, but they're not going in with their SE units. Hero, big blunder here. Hero, the Lurkers not going in. I don't know what just happened there. Hero going in with all the Lings and Hydras and not going in with the Lurkers. Now the Lurkers are bowed in a very weird location there. And Beast is continuing to push on. Beast really abusing the Dragoon range very, very well here. Ranging down the buildings, forcing Hero to come to him and engage uh, low ground to high ground, which is obviously not what Hero wants. But Beast, this Archon is almost dead. He has no High Templar left. I think it's probably better to back off here and just conserve his units and not suicide like Hero just did. But wow, what a crazy back and forth game here. Uh, I don't know how much Beast's economy has recovered. Um, I'm just looking at this. His probe count still does not look very good at all. It's still a very weak probe saturation uh, for for this point in the game. And Hero, even look, though he looked like he was going to die right there, uh, I believe has kept most of his drones alive at least, so he's still pretty okay. Presumably this is another Lurker drop, but this is going to back off. He sees all the units coming in, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna leave here. I don't know what's up with that random link going in the front. There, there must be some kind of bad rally here or something. I don't know. Or maybe that was just a scouting link. But still, lots of random units flying around the map. And Bisu, or sorry, Hero, actually gonna take another base. He's gonna take the 6 o'clock base here. So, uh, very, very interesting. Wow, Bisu sending a lot of units back to deal with just a single Overlord here. That could open himself up for some crazy attack in the natural, but I don't know if Hero's gonna try that again after almost throwing the game away there. So, uh, in the meantime, we have... I, I guess, is this kind of stabilized? I mean, Bisu's not willing to continue the attack because he can't really reinforce very well. So he's just going to chill on his two bases. Here's just going to chill because he's expanding, so he's going to chill on his four bases. But Bisu's got to do something. What's he going to do? Is he just going to go two base attack or is he going to get a third? I think he's, it looks like he's just going to get a third. He's going to get his mineral only, which is fine. Uh, Hero could actually now potentially kind of uh, counterattack, do exactly what Bisu just did to him and use this high ground to, to poke. But actually, wait, wait, no, I don't see a probe going out. It's not a third base, is it? Is it like a fake third? Is he just poking out to pretend to get a third? He's got a lot of units. He could go for an attack. He is moving up though, but again, I just don't see a probe coming out. He's got five high Templar, that's pretty scary. Maybe he just wants to move the army along the top side instead of having to walk across the bridges, which would be a little bit more dangerous. Yeah, that might be what's going on here. He's not. Is he saying I probe? I see something going out right now. Okay, no, he is going to get the mineral only, so he's not just going to turn this into a base all in, but he's going to get dropped again. Okay, there's one lurker at the natural. The natural probes are pulled. The other lurker needs to drop before the overlord dies. Okay, that lurker is going to get these few probes, but there's not that many, and looks like the zealot's going to take it. But there's no, there's no observer here! There's no observer! The probes have to be so careful! The probes are just trying to stack on the sides and the lurker's not there. Okay, looks like he does get it. Uh, Hero sacrificing a couple lurkers for some more money time. Oh my god, the armies are on the other side of the map! The Protoss army is, is on this side, on the Zerg side of the map. The Zerg army is on the Protoss side of the map. 
And now when Overlord's gonna see it, is he gonna pull the units back? This could be a sick flank opportunity for Hero here. You could come in from the other side, but there are like six High Templar there. No, he's just gonna run into some reinforcing zealots. There's a decent spread of lurkers here, but that's so many High Templar. And Bisu executing this very well, having the uh, zealots in the back. Well, well, he had them on in the back. I, I thought they were on whole position, but apparently not. A few of them in a suicide in. And more zealots running into the natural. Actually, Hero, can he hold off here? He's got a lot of hydras in the back. It looks like they've cleaned up some of the zealot reinforcements. He needs to pull them back as soon as possible if he wants to defend this, though. A nice little lurker egg block on his main ramp to stop the zealots going in. But this big attack in the third is going to be very difficult for him to defend. There's just so many high Templars in Bisu's army and not very much space for Hero to engage, but Bisu for some reason looks like he's pulling back here. I thought that was an ideal situation for him, but it looks like he's actually just changing his target. He's going for the natural instead. There are a, d a couple of sunkens there at the minute only, so maybe he decided that upon seeing no sunkens here at the third base, at, at the natural, is gonna go for the attack. There are the mass storms from Bisu. Can Bisu close out the finals here? Oh my god, Bisu, even though he's lost all of his probes, has just turned this into a huge two base attack. You can see he's still got no minute only. Hero might have made a mistake taking him at fourth base, taking him to six o'clock, has left himself too exposed, too vulnerable, is losing everything. He's got no units left. Bisu is going for the win. He's going for the championship, but no! Is he running out? There's more reinforcements, and I don't see that many zealots coming out for Bisu. How many storms does he have left? He's only got two high Templars left. I don't know how many storms they have, and the Archons are falling. This is actually very close. Oh, but there's more zealots over there. There are more zealots taking down the natural drone line. The drones are actually being forced to fight right now, trying to help defend, use the hydras. The hydras aren't even fighting. The drones are shooting more than the hydras are, and here comes some more reinforcements, and now mineral only has been taken. But look at this beast who's completely mined out of his natural, and presumably very close to mined out of his main as well, so he'll only be mining... Well, I think that's a nexus of the mineral only. It looks slightly off place, but it might not even matter if Bisu can just close the game out here. It's very, very scrappy. It is very, very close here. Every last unit counting Bisu reinforcing with as many zealots as he can, which is not that many. The last couple of Templar moving to an Archon. There's another High Templar though with a crucial storm. A crucial storm on the Hydralisks. But the Archon falls. The High Templar is going to fall. I think Hero might just live. He might live somehow. I don't understand how he's living here. Bisu almost, almost just closed out the game. He killed a lot of drones at the natural. Uh, he killed a lot of units, but, but Bisu now has just lost his army. Bisu, what does he have left? Is he distance mining? Oh my god, I think Bisu is distance mining the middle only. He's almost mining. He's got three almost dead patches. He's only got that base. And the problem is he's just lost all his units. Oh my god, is Hero gonna win? No, this is not possible. This is not possible. How? GG! What? No! How? How did you win? That's not possible! <laughs> Hero! I can't believe it! Oh my god, Hero, how do you defend these things? I don't understand. He doesn't understand either! He doesn't understand! Oh my god. Fuck Tarson, man. Hero. Hero holds. That's the new thing. Hero holds the attack and Bisu just GG's out. I can't believe it. And we are going to game 5, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to a deciding game here in the in the grand finals of SSL 9. Hero, what on earth? What a game that was. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this this is like the best possible finals that could have happened. I bet Sonic is so happy right now. Like he looks pretty, he looks all serious, but inside he's just like giggling. Uh. <laughs> Man, I cannot believe BC didn't win the game there. I can't believe he likes Sick Light Temple! Oh. oh my god. <laughs> that game.